Hey guys, this is day 19 out of 30 of our pants review. Day 18 was all about PPD tests, and we're going to stick with our TB theme because it's such an important screening tool in our healthcare practice. And I'm going to ask you, what is the gold standard test for TB, for tuberculosis, both for latent and for active infections? So there's two answers. Give me the gold standard test for tuberculosis, both latent and active infections. Give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, so the gold standard test for latent and asymptomatic cases of uh, TB, just basically screening tests to see if somebody might have it, is going to be the PPD, which is what we talked about last week, the 15 millimeters or more for low-risk folks, the 10 millimeters in duration or more for high-risk folks, and the 5 millimeters or more of in duration for ultra-high-risk folks. If you don't know those, then go back to uh, day 18 and review that. Um the gold standard test for an active infection, as if you really suspect someone might have it, uh, tuberculosis, they have fever, they're coughing, they have hemoptysis, means uh, coughing up blood, they have weight loss with all these symptoms, you really strongly suspect TB. The gold standard test to confirm TB is acid fast bacilli on sputum culture. So again, the two gold standard tests for TB, one for a latent infection for someone who is asymptomatic, that's going to be your Manto test, your PPD, the intradermal injection. Um, and then 48 hours to 72 hours afterwards, the interpretation. And then your active uh, or symptomatic gold standard test for TB is going to be acid-fast bacilli on sputum culture. 